morning Frog Song family. Today is the last day of our 2023 sugarcane season and I've got you in the last block of cane that we have not picked yet and I'm holding here one of the bottles of beautiful sugarcane syrup that we've made this season. So in this video today I'm going to take you through all the steps of our process. You're going to see from cutting the cane here in the field to pressing the cane all the way through cooking the cane and bottling this beautiful cane syrup. Stay with me for the next few minutes and I'll take you through our process. Before we get started, please like and subscribe to our videos. We started growing sugarcane at the farm as a windbreak and to create a microclimate between our other crops. We found that it was warmer in the wintertime and cooler in the summertime, helping us extend some of our seasons on the brassicas and even the squash. Usually in January, we'll put our cane in the ground for the next year. We used the sugar cane cut that winter to plant for the next season. In just a few months, the eyes start emerging as sprouts and they really start growing when it gets hot outside. By the summertime, these fields will be six to 10 foot tall of sugar cane. We keep the plantings going for two or three years at least until they start to fade out and we see more weeds in the row than cane. By November, the cane starts sweetening up enough to enjoy fresh. By December, we start seeing the sugar levels high enough to go into processing. First step of the process is cutting the cane. We can store our cane in the barn up to two weeks or more, depending on how good we protect it from the cold. So here's the mill. Got a, about a hundred year old mill here. You're gonna see the trash come out that side. Got our electric motor here. It drives, a beautifully engineered 1935 Ford rear end transmission. It's down to the uh, really old mill, even older than the transmission and out to our cube here, waiting. So you'll see it running here, all on solar panels. That's the last of it. Now we're gonna take it out. Here's all the juice from that press. Made about 70 gallons maybe of juice. It's about halfway up the skirt on our kettle. Right now, letting it get up to about 180 degrees. This is gonna go into the first boil. All right, so we'll just get into the first burp here, the first boil. You can see there's some effervescence going on underneath this mass of stuff. It's about 180 degrees, and so that means that we're going to turn down the flame, and we are going to get this crud off of the surface. Past the first burp, skimming with the red skimmer, and it's too uh, 
larger grain. So I gotta switch skimmers and we're going to the second coil here after the first. So the next step is putting on the ring and that'll help us hold the rags in so that we can filter out even more. The majority of the wax and the big chunks of chlorophyll and stuff like that are out of it now. And now we move on to the little bits of caramelization and the bad flavors that will come out during the next hour and a half of heat. All right. I've got the ring in, I've got the rags in. The rags are going to help me with this. Basically. Push in. Rags filter the syrup as it heads back into the kettle down the skirt. So it uses the gravity of the skirt to get the syrup back into the kettle. We are into the second boil. Got the ring on. I've already done two changes of rags in the skirt here. On to the third. And we are about an hour and a half following the lighting of the flame. So yeah, go by everything goes by how many minutes after the flame was lit or how many hours the flame was lit. <clears throat> so we're about halfway there right now. A little over an hour and a half and she'll probably boil for about three hours and 20 minutes, three hours and 40 minutes, somewhere in that range today. We'll see. But right now, to give you a big picture of it, we are boiling off all this awesome water, getting the steam out and we're taking off that 90% mass of the original sugarcane juice is going out of this kettle in the form of steam. There's afternoon sun rays still coming in here. It's beautiful. Last rag change, syrup's getting clear, getting almost all the stuff off the top here. It's getting pretty amazing. We are about two and a half hours into this, and when the syrup won't pass through these rags anymore, then I will take off the rags and take off the ring, and we will boil off the last little bit of the water to get it to the right point without the ring or the rags here. We've got the third boil going on and we're starting to see what we call the cat faces, which are the plumes. They're probably 15 minutes or so away from finishing. And right now we're just letting the kettle boil out this uh, white kind of film, kind of foamy stuff. They call it um, taffy or toffee. And that's where the bad flavors are. And so the rest of it's looking really clean and um, the last of that will get removed from the cheesecloth. When the hydrometer reads just about 33 and a half, we pull the syrup out of the kettle. All right, Sammy, tell me how it feels to finish the Z batch. Feels good. Feels good? Nice. Yeah, feel accomplished. We've got to get the syrup out of the kettle quickly before it gets too thick. If it doesn't pass through the cheesecloth, then we can't bottle it. And if we harvest it too soon, it'll crystallize or even worse, ferment in the jar. The, the bottling process, all right. Bottle. And then we fill that thing up. See it steaming, it's about 160 degrees right now. And then stop it right there. And take a cap. Once it starts dripping, pull it out, put the cap on there, and then invert it. That's the most important part right there. And there you go. You've got a season of sunshine in a bottle. With our process, our syrup could be good for many years before you open it. Once opened, 
we recommend keeping it in the refrigerator and trying to keep that bottle clean to prevent contamination with mold or yeast. So thank you for joining us today to watch our process of how our sugarcane syrup is made. Before we go, I'd like to thank the teachers I had to show me the process of making this beautiful syrup out of such an incredible crop as the sugarcane plant. Thank you all for supporting regenerative agriculture. One of the best ways you can support us is logging into our store, see the description up ahead, and getting some of this incredible sugarcane syrup, as well as our other awesome vegetables and value-added products. Thanks again, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our videos so you can see lots more of these amazing videos in the future.